I'm Steve Guzman, this is Patrick Nash, and this is our measurement instrumentation project here. So uh, the initial idea for this project was sort of inspired by an off-the-grid um, power source that you could use when near a flowing body of water. So maybe in regions near the eastern seaboard of the United States where there are a lot of rivers or flowing bodies of water. And in an emergency situation to areas that are prone to hurricanes and things like that, we wanted a sort of self-contained, off-grid sort of power generation station. And so the idea was to create an inline turbine that would be placed in a flow that you could carry around, place it in a flow, and it would generate power. And the idea is that the power that the turbine is generating would be sent to our module here, which could then be sent out to power or charge other devices in an emergency when you need uh, critical things like cell phones or flashlights, things of that nature. Or if you're just camping, for example. You want to get into it? Now, get yeah, started. yeah. Uh, so kind of let's get into how it works a little bit. Uh, if we see if we get a uh, flow running through here. Okay, we've got a flow right through the turbine, and that's actually going to turn on the Arduino itself. And so now our power supply monitor box is running. And if you see here, you can see we have it set pretty dim because we want to conserve as much of the power being generated as possible. And so from this box, it would then go to an auxiliary uh, device where it is then being charged. So right now our turbine over there is producing 7.8 volts and about 1.08 amps of current, which is around 8.36 watts. And so the box, this module here, our measure meter as we like to call it, is live monitoring the energy generation produced by the turbine. And so the idea is that you would be able to monitor how much power is being produced and then send it to a device that you would need. And so we think it's a pretty useful, uh, useful device. And it, would, it could serve people well in, in emergency situations. So, and you kill the flow, and yeah, it's off already. You kill the flow, you can see our turbine has now stopped, and energy generation to the power box has now ended. And so we have an LED indicator to indicate when there's power generation occurring. You obviously have your live reading, and you can adjust your potentiometer here for screen brightness. Okay. Turn it on again. The LED is now on with the turbine running, and we can monitor energy generation in real time and send it to a different load for charging in an emergency situation. So this is basically a proof of concept, as we don't have access to a river, so we did the next best thing that could be done in a controlled lab setting, and uh, this is our project. Cool.